Hello everyone and welcome to week six. Uh, in this video I thought I'd go over one of the programming assignments at the end of the chapter. Uh, so if we just scroll down, we get to our programming assignments. Uh, you'll have two of these for your assignments this week. So I thought it'd be cool to go over this first one. It says write a defining table and then a program that computes and outputs the absolute difference between two numbers entered by a user. In other words, your program should always show the difference as a positive number. Okay, um, so you can see six and eight is two, eight and six is two, negative three and five is eight, um, and then same with these negative numbers. These are both three because obviously there's three numbers between negative four and negative seven, or to get from negative four to negative seven. Okay, so that's what we're going for. Um, so I have my template right here. Uh, so I'll just say uh, chapter six, assignment one for my title. And in here, I'm going to have a defining table. Defining table. For this, we're going to have an input processing and output. Okay. So let's think here. We are going to need the user um let's see here so we're gonna need the user to enter two numbers okay so um two numbers entered by a user okay and then the processing um in my mind i'll, I'll, I'll i guess i'll just say get absolute difference um, and this will always be positive and then the output will be show the computed value. Okay, so pretty simple defining table here. Um, now, with that said, let's come down into our body. And I'll go ahead and put this right here just to, so we know what we're doing. And I'll put um, absolute difference calculator. All right, now I'm going to open this in the browser by copying the file path. And pasting it and I can see that my program is currently working um, and look I currently don't have any errors that's great news okay so now let's think this through we already said that we're going to need uh, two numbers entered by a user okay a simple way to do this is just to put two inputs input type text ID first number and for the second ID we'll put Shocker, shocker, second number. Okay, so we have our two inputs. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of space between these. Um, now let's run this and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have two inputs that we can enter. And right here I'll say, please enter a number. Um, well, I'll say your first number and your second number. Copy this, give us some more space. I'll make a nice little button right here. And I'll say, um, find absolute difference. All right, if I refresh this, you can see we have our labels there and our button as well, okay? Um, these breaks and stuff aren't required. If, if I didn't have them, then here's what it would look like, okay? Um, we don't really care for your assignments. You can, you can make it however you want. Uh, I like making it a little more readable. But anyways, okay, so I have this all set up, but you notice it doesn't do anything. If I, if I type in here or click on the button, it won't do a thing. Uh, I wanna make sure that I don't have any errors, and it looks like I don't. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close that out. Now, I'm gonna have to make a function on here, so I'll say on click, um, and I'll say get difference, and I'll need to make a function called diff get difference. Oops, okay, now, I have to retrieve these values, okay? So I'm gonna grab both of these and copy them and paste them right here. And if I hit control and then click again while I'm holding control, then I can select, um, I can make two cursors or as many as I want really, uh, but I'll just say document.getElement by ID. There's my ID dot value, okay? And then I will name this var I'll just keep the names the same. I don't have to. Um, okay, so I'll have our first number, but just to be clear, I'll just delete these. 
So I have var first, var second. Okay, so I have these two variables. Now, if I run this, let me hit F12, make sure we don't have any errors. And we don't, good. Um, I want to put a breakpoint right here and just see what we're getting. Okay, you can see I have five as a string. I need to change this to a to a number. So I'm going to add parse float to both of these lines. Okay, and I'll put everything from document to value inside of the parse float function. Okay, and that will convert our stuff, convert our strings into numbers. Okay, so if I do that exact same thing again and run it, you can see that first is now a number and not a string. It's not in quotations, it's just a number. Okay, okay so we have our input. Now we need to do some, some math. Okay, so I'm going to say var absolute is equal to uh, first minus second. Okay, let's run this and see how things are looking. So if I say five and six and run it, you can see we have five and six for that, and then absolute is currently negative one. Okay, and the difference is going to be one, so we need to somehow make this negative a positive. Okay, um, if I said like eight and six, and I saw absolute, it'd be two, and that's correct. Okay, so at this point, as long as the first number is greater than the second, we're good. We just have to output that value. But we're going to add some, some if logic to make sure that, that, that we'll handle that. Okay, so at this point, I'll say if absolute is less than zero, then I'll say absolute um, times equals negative one. Okay, so if you think about it, um, this line of code is basically saying equals absolute times negative one. Okay, we had a negative one here, and if I multiply that by negative one, then we'll get a one. Okay, if we have any negative value and we multiply it by negative one, then we'll get a positive value. Okay, and the easiest way to write that is with this shorthand operator right here. Okay, so if absolute is less than zero, make it positive. Um, else, we don't need an else, and we'll just need a place to display this. Get element by ID. Uh, we don't have one yet. Dot inner HTML equals absolute. Okay, uh, for that we can just make a div ID of absolute value and then copy that ID and paste it in here. Okay, so I'm going to refresh this. You can see we have a nice div down here, all of our changes that we just made. I'll leave my breakpoint so we can see what's going on and we'll say two. All right, first is five, second's two, absolute is three. Okay, so it won't go in there and we'll put that absolute in here. Okay, if I said, um, 200 and ran it again. First is 5, second is 200, negative 195. It'll come in here and multiply it by 1, absolute becomes 195, and we'll print that up and we have that. Okay, if we want to test out some negative values, whoops, and find the difference there.